Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. And I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. So we talked about Nick Cannon no. a, couple, a couple couple weeks ago right, about how he said he wanted to knock up Tay Tay if, if she'd have a baby with him. I would knock up Tay Tay if she wanted to have a baby with me. So I don't know. I don't think. I think you would too. Yeah, I mean, if Taylor I don't, Swift I don't even like, think she's that hot, but I probably would be like, hey, brother, what up, girl? Brother, her wallet is super sexy. <laughs> I don't care what she looked like. Her wallet is fine. Yeah, right? So... I'm a wallet sexual. So it came out. <laughs> so Nick Cannon it came out. He he put out a tweet that said uh-huh. something about a fresh haircut that makes you feel like you Im- can impregnate the whole world. Wow. <laughs> this man is just out here wow. like virile and ready to just plant his seed anywhere that I will mean, let him plant it. I mean, what? <laughs> Anywhere, just anywhere. He said impregnate the whole world. Yeah, I mean, he wants to have an army. The cannon army? Yeah, I mean, I can't really be mad at what he's doing. You no, know, man, if I was if I was rich as he was, I probably would have a gaggle of kids, too. You know, what? It was. Uh, I was listening to a podcast the other day, and uh, the thing that was said, it was like, it was crazy to me. It was like, the guy was like, yeah, you know, I got to a point. Where it's like I'm I'm doing things for my entire family, and he was like, "Man, you really disrupted your family lineage," and I was like, "Yo, that's crazy to think that you can disrupt like your family can be yeah we're poor we know have a lot of money everybody's you know decent middle class to the point where you get that one person in your family that can make." things change for everybody in your family everybody's school is paid for from oh that point i, I on. mean i ended mine <laughs> you ended your family lineage yeah oh because you're the last one you i'm the last any, one dude you don't yeah. have any babies no like yeah i i'm an only child and oh, and then my dad and grandfather are both gone oh wow and that's it like my grandfather had brothers who had Kids who had kids who had kids. So, like, the lineage of, like, my grandfather's from there is still going. But straight from my grandfather, I'm the last one. I don't have any kids. So, oh, I dies with me, we, man. You got you to gotta adopt. That's that's not even keeping the bloodline going. Oh, I got, you got to get I, I got to Nick Cannon the world or something. No, no, you don't even have to Nick Cannon. It's like, is that why? Okay, So, this is kind of getting off topic a little bit. But I mean, you, it's all relative. I got a vasectomy. I'm sorry, a vasectomy. Oh yeah, we, that came to bite you the other day. <laughs> that was that was interesting, by the yeah, way. It was. It was funny. We can but, talk about uh, that in a minute if we remember. I got a vasectomy, and I felt like it was like one of the greatest things I ever did. I've kind of been badgering you about getting one, and is that why you kind of don't? Uh, Maybe subliminally, to? like oh, yeah. you know what I should do? Maybe I should just go make a bunch of donations at a sperm bank, Yo, why, and why? and then then the, the lineage will continue somewhere, and I just won't know about it. <laughs> you know, if you get a vasectomy, I just want to let you know this. I think you can I, reverse it. Number one, you can reverse it, and number two, you, your body doesn't stop producing sperm. You just, you just kind of like eat it. Your balls. You lose like the it. ability to like discharge it. Yeah, they just kind of cut the they cut the hose off, but the water's still on. Yeah, so there's still water. In fact, yeah, the yeah. water's just backing up, but your body's just drinking all the water. Well, here's the thing: I'm so old. Why it's do so I want gross. a newborn baby anyway? I mean, that's big facts. You might as well just castrate yourself. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what? Man, I don't know if that's show your the... dedication. Dedication to what? I don't know. To celibacy. I, that's not where my dedication lies. Oh, we were thought, talking about not having babies, not having ladies. Oh, well, I thought the only reason to have a child was to have, or the only reason to have sex was to have a child, Jonas. I'm sorry. I, that's why I'm saving myself. Before Christ. Before. I'm, so I'm saving myself for. Is that what you're saving yourself for? Yes. Oh, my God. So, dude. For, for one day, if I'll I, meet the lady. I'll meet her, and we'll know immediately that we want to have babies, and then we'll decide to have a coit. Gonna have, is that like a like a pot of babies or something like a no? Herd, it's herd it's 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 a play a on coitus. Of, but a coit of babes. We're just gonna have a coit. We're, we're not gonna have coitus. We're just gonna coit. I don't think you ever want to have kids. Uh, how do you feel about that? At one time in my life, I was like all right with it, I guess. But like, I mean, you were that, all that, right with that, it, or was it something? It, I never sat there being like, I can't wait to take the kid out of the ballpark. That was never me. 
But I like I wasn't also wasn't the guy who was like, man, I don't ever want to have a baby. Like, and so you never thought like, yo, I'd like to get married, have a couple kids, to settle down, grow old. I mean, I got to run the trial game on that. You got to run the trial I got the, game. I got the huh? demo version of that, didn't I? <laughs> no, I, no, you did it. I you... was married and I had some stepkids. I got the demo version. Brother. I skipped. I, I I used the warp zone. I went to the teenage years. <laughs> And then I like I was like oh this is these kids are all right you know they're, they're I mean I I had no, no problem with helping raise them and all that stuff I got to yeah I got to play the the marriage demo no I don't know if that was the marriage demo you went through it you met you got married marriage uh, demo I feel like is dating you did it you oh did you it. had the demo I had the demo you got time off the bench you were out there on the court you that, scored buckets. For I did you, for years. I scored some buckets, dude. I had some buckets. But the coach, the coach just cut your time. <laughs> <laughs> the coach was like, "Listen, there's a there's a younger, stronger, wow. faster." Actually, I think I I don't think that was I don't think oh. it was younger and stronger. Oh. But, you know, whatever, dude. Wow. What you're talking about? <laughs> yeah, but uh, but I was like, you know, I uh, I've never, I've never been, I've been kind of agnostic about it. About just, the, vi the vasectomy? About, no, just about having kids in general. Oh, okay. Like, I've never been opposed, but I've never had, like, a super strong desire where, like, that was, like, my life goal. And maybe that's why I never got the vasectomy. Okay. I don't know. I don't, I've never thought of it that hard. I definitely have a, a odd relationship with the ideal of, uh, of that. And body modification as a whole, honestly. See, I don't my body mods. Would you get, uh... <laughs> Would you get like the uh, the male BBL where you like get your pecs done and your your abs done? Oh, I'm not doing all that. I mean, I got uh, I got my ears gauged, but like uh -oh. that, that's a body mod. I got some tats, but like, would you get eye surgery or like if they could make your vision better? No, nah, man. Like, no, well, you got good vision. I got yeah, your I got pretty good vision. Crazy. Yeah, I got pretty good vision. I don't know. I got the eye surgery, and I definitely would. Uh, I would. I would like yeah, plastic surgery me up, baby. Yeah, like why not? I uh put some gauges in my I, dick. <laughs> I'm excuse sorry, me, I don't, I don't know what you were talking. <laughs> uh, I um I don't know, man. Like I don't know. I think the only surgery I would ever consider getting is if I lost a ton more weight. Uh, like just because I used to be really big and like for like the oh, like to help yeah, with like yeah, the yeah, skin yeah, and like yeah. all that shit. Yeah, tell me to say. Yeah, but like. I, I would have to, it would have to be like it would have to be a problem. You know what I mean? Like where it's like causing like issues somehow. Like for you to go to want to yeah. Well, because if insurance would cover that stuff, I probably oh. would do it. But See, it, I'm going beyond. This. I don't want to pay ten thousand dollars just to like make sure like my. You know, I'm going beyond like actual like having the money to do it. I'm just like desire. The well, you want to put there. a goddamn chip in your brain and stuff. You want yeah. a nano link it, dude. Yes, I want to be an android. I want to be a cyborg. I would definitely go. I would definitely be the first person to get like I would, cybernetics. I would be happy to call you a cyborg friend. Exactly. I would be. I would tell everybody about you too. Hey, Look, I got my buddy. Cyborg, bro. Like, let's. You want to meet him? I'll see. Yeah. If he's, I'll see. If he's, he's, he's recharging. I'll, I'll right see. Now. I'll see if he's free this weekend. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. He's on a charger. He won't even notice. Watch. Yeah, yeah. Go. <laughs> just open his door. You won't even see him. <laughs> yeah, you like. You, you got to get like one. Like, even if your eye doesn't do it, you get like one red contact. Yes! So you open up your eye, and they're just like, "Oh my god!" Yeah. Like, yeah, it glows if you bro. get a black light retentive Are one. You so like. Kidding? You should do that, bro. That's why I wanted to play cyberpunk so bad because I wanted to be a cyborg. I want to be a cybernetic man. I want to be able to like leap tall buildings at a single bound and like move cars and stuff. Can I do that? I have watched you move a car a few times. <laughs> can, can, can I? You do mean without driving it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, you want to like be able to move it by yourself? Yeah. Oh, like, push it like oh. to save children and shit. What if you could, like carry a couple babies around? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just would you teleport? A baby? Would I teleport a baby? Where would I teleport a baby? I don't know. I feel like out of harm's way. Oh yes, if I could teleport a baby out of harm's way, I would do that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Somebody's about to drop it, and you're like, right yes. to the couch. If I would, if you're asking me if I would like teleport a baby into, I don't know, a lake of lava. No, I would not do that. Oh, that's no. that's mean. That would be yes. That would be a mean thing that's to do to a baby. To I would not do that. That's a mean, that would be a mean thing to do to a baby. Yes. You're not wrong. Yes. What but, if you just could teleport the candy out of the baby's hand so it started crying? <laughs> 
That's a bit of a gray area, but I'm going to say is that's okay, yes. <laughs> you just just yes. teleport its happiness away from it. Yes. Oh, it's okay. okay to troll a baby. The baby needs to learn that life ain't fair. You know what? what life up? isn't fair. It ain't, man. The quicker you learn that lesson yep. and accept it, the better you are the rest of your life. Yep. Sorry, baby. My Snickers. <laughs> Sorry, my crushed carrots. Isn't that what they do? <laughs> Crushed carrots, isn't that what they sell? I'm not eating Pureed carrots. Pureed carrots. No, I'm not yeah, anyways. That. That's all time we have for this episode. Go to the crazy for Jonas. See you, We out. Uh...